Good morning and welcome to another episode of Banished. We are back today with our favorite little village that has slowly grown into being a town. And I really don't know what I want to do. I know we've got all this building we're working on. We're not struggling on food or anything other than, you know, firewood. Which is always a struggle. So I might... Oh yeah, that's right. We are trying to build another Forester's Lodge little... What's the word for that? Mm. I, I don't... I don't know. I guess mini village? So we're just gonna wait around because we got this housing development over here going in. Um, got a house going in here. And we've got our town hall that we're waiting to complete, our cemetery, a tavern, blacksmith, and another tavern and a tailor. Because so we also don't really have any alcohol. Going. So our tools are low. They're not super low. So I don't really understand why it's saying that. So, our population is still quite small. Um, we've been going for, what, 14 years? So, we could definitely do a lot to improve that, but we're, we're going to need to boost up a lot on our, uh, on our housing so that our people start having some babies. We need babies. I know we got 15 children, but they're not growing up quick enough for me. And I did get a comment on a previous video about putting in a schoolhouse. And I'd love to put in a schoolhouse, but right now I need the people more than I need the actual education. And they came with mushrooms. Just mushrooms. Be gone with you. Useless. What am I going to do with mushrooms? So our farmers... Ten... Everything's pretty decent except for our except for herbs. We can probably move another. Oh, oh, oh! We have a pasture now. Did we ever get those chickens? I can't remember. We did. How many chickens do we have? So I'm going to decrease one. One gatherer for herdsmen, so we can start getting our chickens. Our chickens going. I don't really remember what happened to our chickens. Where have they been? Oh, they've been in the they've been in the trading post. I'm like, where? We don't have another another pasture. Where are our chickens? Because I know we did buy them, but that's fine. So it's gonna take a while to get them up to 66 chickens, and. I honestly hope I have enough to actually correctly breed them. I know you need a certain amount to breed. And I think... I don't think five's enough. There's five all we have? No. Yeah. Yeah. I think we only have five. So I don't think that's actually enough for us to breed with. So, a herdsman. So, I used to run all of my pastures with two herdsmen. And then I was reading online how, you know, you really don't need to do that. Yeah, this is gonna, this is kind of coming obsolete. I've invaded the area too much, but you really don't need two herdsmen. So instead, we're gonna go ahead and take that one dude that's floating around, and we're gonna make him a builder because we need it. We need, we need more builders. We need things to happen. Oh, we're getting a good start on our town hall, and that's gonna give us so much awesome information. <clears throat> it's going to provide us all sorts of graphs. We are in our first winter of the episode. So now that means our farmers are going to be breaking away. So what I want them to do is I want them to remove all the resources in 
this. Actually, we need stone more than anything. So we're going to focus on finding some stone. Any stone here? No. Any stone here? Very little. Uh, stone over here. Yes, there is stone over here. So we're just going to have them start that. And once it gets back into spring, we're going we're gonna to break them off of that so they can get back to farming without them being confused and forgetting who they are on the inside. Which is farmers. Um, once again, we have a lot, a lot of food. So I am going to see what foods we have a lot of, and then I am going to put it into storage. So we get a lot of cabbage here. Extreme amounts of fish. So much fish. <laughs> uh, a lot of cherries. So when we get a tavern, we're going to want to do cherry. Actually, we don't have that many cherries. Is this the only cherry orchard? Well, that's an apple. I didn't see any apples floating around. I wasn't looking for them, but I didn't see any. So we'll probably... We're gonna... Okay. I know we want to kind of stay out of this area. But we are definitely going to put another orchard down. Because we're going to need lots and lots and lots of fruit for our breweries. So we're going to do... A nice small little 14 by 10. Let's do another 14 by 10. So we'll have two going in there, and then we're going to put two more 14 by 10s. And I know it seems like a lot. But it's really not. And I know we have plenty of food, and we don't need that much food. But it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, in my opinion. So, slowly, we'll... Oh, it's spring already, so... And they collected, like... They didn't collect enough. But we want to cancel that so that they can get to farming immediately. Oh, I guess they did collect quite a... Oh, no, I just wasn't further over. <clears throat> Man, that winter went by quick. Already on early spring. So, we got that house... Oh! Our town hall is done! Alright. So, let's check this out. It ain't pretty yet, because it ain't surrounded by a whole bunch of urban expansion. But it shows us our year, the season, how many homes we have, how many families, how many people total, adults, students, which is zero because we don't have any schools because we need our people more than we need education. We don't need no education. Um, apparently none of my people are wearing clothes, which we're going to fix that. 28% um, of them are educated because they were originally educated. And then on this side we have all the people in the professions, which is what we have over here. So our production, it's showing all the different resources we've been using, how much we've been using, and you can select how many years. We got our inventory, which is much easier than going warehouse to warehouse and trying to give a rough estimate. As you can see, we got like 1,800. We do have a lot of apples. See? I thought we had like zero apples because I wasn't paying attention. Um, but we got like 2,700 apples, 1,800 cherries... 12,000 freaking fish. Ugh. And we got our graphs, which are pretty cool. So we're gonna, we've been going for what? 15 years? So let's check out 25 years. So our population of children's been staying the same, which is not good, but our adults and population have been going up. Um, our citizens, they are naked, stupid, but happy and healthy. Uh, our food, of course, supplies have only gone up. Log, it dips. Stone, <laughs> I'm not sure I'll ever have a good supply of stone. Uh, iron, same. Firewood, same. Coal, I haven't gone after coal yet. Tools, up and down, up and down, up and down. Herbs are going up because we really don't use them that much. Clothing, of course, has gone down. 
alcohol we haven't done anything with, and textiles. We have a bunch of textiles, but that's because we're not making clothes. Nomads are dangerous. We'll get into that when we run into nomads. And then our trade items will show us all the items that we've unlocked through trading. So it can help you identify trends and problems, and I think that's really, really awesome to have. And normally games will just give you a menu where you can just opt open all that up naturally. I think it's great that you actually have to build a town hall to get the information. Um, it gives you a reason to build a town hall. A really good reason. So our houses are coming along. Over here. How's our little... Our forestry village isn't taking off at all. And then houses over here. And these buildings aren't really doing much. But... As we go through this year, I think we'll see a lot more development. I think these houses will all be up, hopefully, by the end of the episode. And we'll have gotten started over here. Oh, see, we're already getting started on the tavern. Did I have a blacksmith in here? Yes, good. I'm going to need another one. And we, of course, have the quarry. I want to get a mine going, too, but we need that quarry to be stable first. And full. We can't that get that without kids. And we can't get kids without houses. So we need to focus on houses. Oh, we do got another guy. I'm going to put him as a stone guy. Okay. Yep, so our houses are definitely popping along here. And should I waste the stone to complete the road to the bridge that leads to nothing? Probably not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, we got a trader. Maybe they have more than just freaking mushrooms. They have walnut seeds. Now, I don't remember if we have walnuts. I don't think we do. But that's where this comes in handy. As you can see, we don't have walnuts. So, as long as they are willing to accept a boatload of fish, which they aren't. Yeah, they don't want anything we have, so... Screw you guys. Go find some other village to trade with. You bring me only walnut seeds and don't want anything I have. Why do you bother coming? Uh. And I think our or one of our orchards is getting cleared out too, so that's nice. Um, the effective effectiveness of the hunting cabin and the herbalist and forester and the gatherer's hut have really gone down. Now, mm, not yet, not yet. Tavern's coming along. Our other tavern is coming along. So we'll set one up as an apple and one up as cherry. These houses are almost done. It's late summer. Let's see how our crops are doing. You got 30% yield, 25%. You guys are doing good. Oh, wow, that jumped. Our cabbages are doing great. Oh, and it's autumn, so they're harvesting. Let's see how much they actually are harvesting. Before the snows come. Like, this one's still increasing in yield. This one's decreasing in yield because they're harvesting it. It's only increasing in yield because nobody's harvesting it on that one. But our cabbages, those are definitely getting hard. Oh, <gasps> someone died. A stone cutter. Dila. And if our graveyard was done, we'd see her grave. But it's not, so she gets forgotten. But oh, that's the tavern. Our tailor is getting there. All the materials are, are there. We just need it built. All of these are built, so that's great. That's great. Um I think, therefore I am, I think we're going to want to remove all the resources in here, just kind of give them a bit of a mission when they go on vacation. Ooh, and let's go ahead and save on to you. We're sort of fire really slow. Boo-hoo. All right, so here's an orchard. We're going to make it cherry because our cherry is actually lower than our apple despite the fact that we have a larger cherry orchard 
Oh, crap. We're going to need so many people. That means I need more farmers. <sighs> That's the problem. There's never enough people. And if there are enough people, there's not enough people working fast enough to make more jobs to fill those positions. This really is a struggle. But as you can see, our children numbers are going up. Awesome. Oh, and we got room for a brewer. So we're going to minus a builder, put in a brewer. And we're going to make you produce apple. And we're going to set an unlimited alcohol limit. Because we don't want them to ever stop. Always, always more booze. And we're going to set you for apple. And I guess we're just going to go cherry, apple, cherry, apple. Uh, but we're gonna need more farmers. Oh, good. Another kid turned six. Into child labor you go. So... Alright. Winter's probably gonna be over soon. Not a super, super eventful episode. Um... But we did make a little bit of progress. And some episodes you have major increases, some episodes you don't. It's still winter. It's, still, it's late winter. Ooh. Wow. Warm winter. But yeah, some episodes will have more expansion, some episodes we won't. Like this. Um, we're just kind of finishing up projects as we already started on and adding not so much. But. And I'm sure you guys see that in your local governments where, you know, not really much goes on in a year, and then the next year maybe a lot will happen, or we'll get halfway done. Um, I know road construction never leads to anything. But it is early spring. I'm going to make that cherry. Right. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and episode end the episode there. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys next episode. Make sure to leave me some likes, some comments, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get all the updates on my videos whenever they pop out. See you guys next episode.